everyone. I don't know if you can hear me. Um, <clears throat> just had a laroscopy appendectomy a few hours ago. Um, I've just been like vomiting and stuff and um, from the anesthesia. So I'm just sitting up. It's about 10:30 p.m. Now, can't really sleep because there's a light there. There's loud people in the room next to me. Um, I had a little bit of shoulder pain. And I'm in a little bit of discomfort in my stomach. I think all the drugs are really helping, and yeah, um, I'll update you guys and everything. Hi guys, um, please excuse the way I look, I have not like washed my face or anything. Today is um, Wednesday, it's just the morning now, it's like 9am, um, I had my laroscopy on Monday at 1 o'clock, just chilling in bed, I am watching Good Girls on Netflix, um, not much is going on. My stomach is actually quite sore. Nothing insane. Um, I'd say on like a scale of 1 to 10, it's maybe like a... When I'm like this resting, it's probably like a 4, but as soon as I move, it's like a 6. Um, it's mainly my belly button, because I do think one of the incisions were in the belly button. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure if it's like right under or actually in it, and it's um, it's quite like bloody and stuff, so that hurts probably the most out of everything a little bit of shoulder pain nothing crazy um and yeah other than that i'm feeling okay but obviously not the best um i was so nervous to have that on monday um because i don't really deal well with pain like i'm so oh, i'm so bad with pain um and when i got taken into the room um I was just really scared to be put to sleep for some reason, like out of everything, I was just petrified. Um, and when you put the needle in and then they gave me like the mask, I just didn't think it was like to be going to sleep yet. I just thought they were just giving me some oxygen and I was just like inhaling, inhaling. And then the next thing I knew, I, w I woke up in the recovery room. And I was thinking to myself, have I even gone in yet? Like what the hell? So literally just fell asleep, woke up, like nothing happened and then I was so sick from the anaesthetic, so so sick. That was worse than actually the pain of like the incisions. Um, yeah, I just was like vomiting and um, I couldn't, because all I could eat was fluids. So when they brought me like the juice and the soup and all that, it just, it looked so disgusting because I felt so sick. Um, I'm just happy that that's passed and now just to you know recover I'm really hoping the recovery isn't too long like I just want my stomach to stop hurting because it's kind of like a weird stinging pinching feeling especially in the belly button so getting out of my bed is a bit annoying but it's kind of good that I've built some like strength in my legs and arms so I can kind of push myself up but yeah, um, I will keep you guys updated on the recovery and um, one reason why I'm filming this is, you know, people have kind of scared me about this prior to my surgery and I don't want people to be scared, you know, if they're getting whatever I've done with a laroscopy or getting their appendix out, it's not as scary as people make it sound. Yeah, some people have it harder than others, but it's just not right to scare someone like people scared me, so... If I was able to get through it, anyone can. Hey guys, so tomorrow is officially two weeks since my um, laparoscopy. I realized I was saying it wrong in like all the other clips or saying laroscopy, but I think it's laparoscopy. Um, feeling a lot better, feeling like myself mentally. Um, the first 
few days were tough. Um, if you've been watching my other videos, um, you'd know that I've had flare-ups on the right side of my stomach since I was 15. Um, I've been to the emergency a few times. I've seen gastroenterologist, uh, many GPs, and no one ever, you know, found anything. Like I had a CAT scan, colonoscopy, nothing. Um, and then I decided to see a private uh, gastrointestinal surgeon. Um, something there. Is there something on the camera there? Anyways, um, I don't have private health, um, but I still wanted to see him because I heard he was really good. So obviously he said that I fall into that category where like you just don't know unless we go inside. So he just suggested to take out the appendix because even his own son has had like um, like like appendicitis but then it went away so they just took out his appendix and my pain was always in the exact same spot um, and they ruled out the gallbladder um, at one stage we did think gallbladder just because sometimes a flare-up would happen when I ate fatty food like even like salmon steak or just junk food um, not always but yes yeah, sometimes so Obviously to be covered by private health, you had to be on it for 12 months. So we just were like, all right, we're just gonna pay for it. We trust the surgeon. Um, and yeah, so I booked it one month in advance because I had exams. I'm sorry if I look shocking. I honestly haven't worn makeup for two weeks. Um, I just, I'm whatever, I don't even care. Um, booked it, yeah, for a month in advance. In that month, I went ham at the gym. I was running, uh, the treadmill doesn't really count as like being a runner, but yeah, I was running like 25 kilometers a week. Um, I just wanted to feel really fit going into the surgery so that I could hopefully have a better recovery because they did suggest that, um, I read a study that I think if you're fit going into surgery, you have like a 20% better recovery or something like that anyways i do still to this day believe that uh being fit does help it um so anyways i had so much anxiety going into it because i have never had any type of surgery other than getting my wisdom teeth out and i wasn't even completely put to sleep for that um i was so scared to be put to sleep I had people scare me prior which I do not believe you should ever ever do that you know it's like it's like your friend is going into brain surgery tomorrow and you're like by the way last week a girl died from brain surgery like you just you don't say that kind of stuff to someone like I just don't understand it anyways I was just so scared for the anesthetic um, on the day they took me in um, they weigh you and whatever um, and then when I went into the operating room, I was just like, because when I'm nervous, I make so many, like, I just like make jokes. Got on the bed, put the mask on, I literally, that's it. Fell asleep, it felt like I woke up a minute after. My first thought in the recovery room was like, oh, far out, I still haven't gone in. But I had, and then the nausea hit, like I just felt like a car had hit me. Like I know so many people were like, oh, I had the best sleep. I was sleeping for 12 hours, blah, blah. I did not sleep for 10 days. And when I say don't sleep, I mean like, yeah, I slept for one hour at a time. Slept for an hour, woke up, slept for 30 minutes, woke up, slept for another hour, woke up. For 10 days, it was like that. Only in the last few days have I been only waking up once in the middle of the night. And for me, that's normal. I always wake up around three and go back to sleep um so they wheeled me back into my room at like five had my own room i mean that's what i was like hoping for especially since you know we're paying all this money i'm like i hope i do have my own room huge room all good um so sick finally started vomiting felt better thank god ate the soup ate the smoothie whatever i don't know um they gave me a blood thinning injection in my thigh. I remember the nurse saying, like, if I still feel nausea, that she needs to give me an injection in my bum. 
I was like, mm, I think I would rather just <laughs> stick through the nausea, which I don't think I would mind anyway. I don't think you would really feel it in your butt cheek because of the the fat, you know, because the thigh injection didn't the the um, IV or whatever the little thing they put there that hurts more than the injection in my thigh. Um, anyways, I did not sleep all night. I slept probably for like 20 minutes randomly. Um, there was a loud family in like one of the rooms, you know, they kept coming in. I needed to pee a lot. Um, so the nurse would always have to come in, you know, get me off the thing. And do you know what? I was really nervous to get up because my operation finished at 2.30 and I think I went to pee at 6. And I was scared and she said like I can have a thing that they put under you but I was like no like I want to get up and it wasn't as painful as I thought I was sore I couldn't really stand straight um, but I was like oh thank like I was walking straight away really slowly but I was able to walk um, and I think it's just because of all the medication you don't feel it so my pain started I reckon on the third day but coming home because obviously everything wore off um, and then again the pain it was like a 6 out of 10 wasn't like something you, that you can't handle it might basically only hurt getting onto the bed and like you know lifting your leg up and trying to get comfortable and getting off the bed that's like the only time that it hurt and then again the pain was just kind of like a like a little stabbing around the incisions um, even now it's two weeks tomorrow even now I have a bit of pain where the appendix was and in one of the incisions but I am assuming it's just because it's you know that part is recovering and all that but I'm still going to be very very careful with what I eat um, I'm going to try and cut out all foods that increase inflammation which is honestly a lot probably won't be able to 100% but I'm just going to try to stick to an anti-inflammatory diet just because I feel like you know I yeah, because uh, someone's like to me, oh, but you're fine now, you can eat what you want. But I don't feel like, okay, I won't have paid this money to get this out to then go eat junk food. Like, I think I'm just, I just ha like want to look after myself now. Um, and yeah, so I think tomorrow or Tuesday, I might go back to the gym and just walk. I'm not going to be running for the next maybe three weeks. I just don't feel like I can. I'm just going to walk maybe like 20, 30 minutes a day and see how I go. Um, the, I'll show you. They're not completely healed yet. Like they're still a bit red, but the cuts are so clean. Um, right there. And then my belly button. I almost passed out taking off the bandages. <laughs> that was the worst pain ever. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Um, um, I'm glad this is over. And yeah, so I'm going to try and upload a bit more videos in the next few weeks because I am on break. Um, and yeah, I did have one where I filmed what I ate in a day, which was ages ago. And I don't know if I'm going to upload it because it just feels too old. But I'm going to try and upload a lot more meals. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.